when we want to use someone's name in the possessive, um, we have one formula, and then when we just want to say him or her, we have another. So let's start with someone's name. Um, first, if you want to, the formula for saying it's someone's something in Spanish, you're going to start off with the item, and then you're going to use de, and then you're going to use the owner's name. So, for example, Mateo's book uh, would be El Libro de Mateo. Notice there's no apostrophe S, right? In English, it starts with Mateo's. Um, in Spanish, it starts with the item, El Libro. Um, in English, we put apostrophe S after the person's name. In Spanish, instead, we put a de and their name, Mateo. So it's very different. So if we wanted to say Julia's pencils, we would say los lapices. That's the item. And then we add the little word de, and then we add her name, Julia. What is it? It's just a word that doesn't end in O or an A, so you have to memorize that it's los and not los. There's a couple that you can memorize. Libro, it's obvious, right? Because it ends in an L. If you're going to make a complete sentence, um, and the whole point, the only point of the sentence is to talk about possession, you're going to use the verb ser, okay? So if it's one item, you would use s, and if it's more than one item, you would use son. So that first sentence would look like this. If instead of saying Mateo's book, we want to say the book is Mateo's, we're going to start with el libro, the item, and then our verb is s because it's singular. The book isn't talking, we're not talking to the book, we're talking about the book. And there's just one, so the correct form of Sarah is S, so we have a libro S de Mateo. So if we wanted to say the books are Julia's, then we would say los, or the, excuse me, the pencils, los lapices son de Julia. Okay, and here's some work I want you to practice on. So let's see how you do on these. So we have la madre de Jorge, el hermano de Juan, el tío de Jacinta, la madrastra de Roberto. Now we have full sentences. La mujer es la prima de Paco, el hombre es el hermanastro de Claudia. Good. So sometimes instead of using people's names, we, we want to take a shortcut, right? Um, so when we look at possessive adjectives, we use those, Jennifer Salmon doesn't say Jennifer Salmon's iPad. Jennifer Salmon, when Jennifer Salmon is talking, Jennifer Salmon says, my iPad, right? Um, so here would be, if we use our same table that we always use, here we have kind of the um, possessive adjectives in English. So my, your, his, her, your, and their. English is a little complicated with a your and your guises, some play, people would say. I don't know if you'd say y'alls. Right, but that's that plural of the you there. Now let's compare that with the Spanish. So we have, so my is either going to be me or it's going to be me. But that gets a little complicated because look, it's in the one person column. There's only one Jennifer Salmon. Um, so how could, why would I ever say me instead of me when there's only one Jennifer Salmon? Maria? You're talking about um, something that's plural. Right. So Jennifer Salmon would say, this is me, Pluma, but I'm holding one pen. But if Jennifer Salmon were holding two pens, Jennifer Salmon would say, mis Plumas, okay? So we're going to choose between the options in this box based on the object. So we're going to use the person in order to choose the right box. But once we have the right box, we have to use the object to decide which pronoun is correct, okay? So me, if I have one thing, me, if I have more than one thing, two or tus, if you have plural, that's informal. I want you to really, how can we distinguish this two, which means your, from two, which means you? There's one little teeny tiny difference between you and your, Augustine. There's an accent on you. So te u with an accent is you, and te u without an accent is your. And then if you'll notice, we have a lot of su. So su or sus is usted's, su or sus is his, su or sus is hers, su or sus is your guys's, and su or sus is theirs. 
Okay, so if you don't know the answer, choose Sue or Seuss, I think. Might be a good guess. All right, um, and just a reminder of what we said, that agreement is with the object, not the owner, right? So you just use the owner to choose the right box. And that some of them, for example, um, nuestro, you have to worry about not just singular and plural, but you have to worry about um, gender also. So Maria's eraser, she had one eraser, would be su borrador. Maria's erasers would be sus barradores, okay? That would be like her erasers. So let's practice on these. So mis abuelas is my grandmothers, nuestras primas, our female cousins, su cuñado, sus padres, tus parientes, and mi madrina. There's one more thing that I think is kind of interesting culturally. Um, in English, um, I would, when talking to my sister, I would, would refer to our mom as just mom, right? But in Spanish, siblings will refer to a shared relationship, but still using the possessive adjective. So when I'm talking to my sister, I'd say, hey, mom said you're in big trouble, right? But in Spanish, my Mexican friends would say, my mom said you're in big trouble, even though she's your mom too. That's what my brother does. Yeah, they say, my mom, your mom. And it's not like, uh huh, she's my mom and not your mom. It's just how you say it. She's my mom. Why wouldn't I say she's my mom? 